Hi guys, Alex Taylor here and today we're going to be reviewing the Forte Apex 6 golf ball. So it's the first six piece construction golf ball on the market. Uh, so it's a premium golf ball. Uh, sorry that I'm sat in my kitchen. Uh, I have done a full video. But I've had an issue with the sound. So you guys were going to see me hit a few shots, see the ball fly. When we, I hit six shots with this ball down St Anne's Old Links in the golf studio, six with driver, six with seven iron, six with pitching wedge, all full shots, and then six little pitch shots. Then I went out on the golf course and played nine holes just to kind of see if out on the golf course backed up what I saw in the studio. So let's quickly jump over to me hitting driver at Old Links, hit the six shots, then we'll look at some numbers. Slightly towards the toe with the strike. A tiny bit. 293. Again, turning over a little bit too much. Distance is good, but accuracy way off. Poor swing. Tiny little cut. Try to hit that one a bit straighter. Again, decent, better accuracy on that one. 285. Yeah, and solid strike, nice and straight. Really good carry. Out over 300 yards. Okay, decent accuracy, if not absolutely out of the middle. Very decent at 284. Good solid strike. Just turn over a little bit. It's a big one. Over 300 yards once again. Okay, so ball speed is an average just under 160. So we can see a couple not great strikes. Um, and again, you can see from the strikes how much the spin changes. But as an average spin of 2,000, that's fantastic. Peak height 31 yards. Average carry 271 and average total 294. Okay guys, so we can see the numbers with driver were, were really, really good. There was one that was a little bit low on a strike where the, jump, uh, the spin jumped up to almost 3,000. And there was one very, very left one. But other than that, an average of 2,000, you know, around 2,000 would be really, really good and what I'd be looking for with driver. So let's get back to the golf studio. 7 iron, full shots, see how that performs. A good strike, just turning over a tiny bit, pitching just on the edge and just running through. So again, just setting up a little bit left and turning over. So again, poor direction. So set off right, turning over at the top of its flight, pitching just short. That shot, and solid strike, just turning over a little bit more than I'm after. So again, slightly more left than I was up wanting. Setting off just right, turning over, might be close. So a good shot, best one so far. So you can set off just right, might go in. Nope. Two good ones to finish though. Okay, so if we look at the seven iron numbers, kind of ball speed good at kind of 118 mile an hour, launching at 21 degrees, backspin of 6.6, six, which is about where I'd be looking for with seven iron, a um, couple of low ones at 6.3, probably more down to strike, and we turn them over a little bit more. Um, average carry 163, very consistent, total 171. Okay, guys, so we can see numbers again. I mean, for me, in a lot of my testing, the 7-iron spin is a little on the low side. 
I think some of that with various irons is just the fact that, that they're very strong lofts nowadays. And, you know, there's certain seven irons, TaylorMade M2 as an example, you know, he's really like a five and a half iron. So when the spin's at five and a half thousand, that's to kind of be expected. But, you know, really, really good spin with seven iron. So let's get back, see some shots for wedge. Again, see how the Apex 6 performs. It's about a good solid strike. Top of its flight looks good. Oh, I don't know whether that hit the pin or just spun up. You can hit the flag, that one. You can felt a little bit heavy. Still going to be on the green, still decent. Right, felt better, and she'll be pitching around hole high. Just passed. Again, just about pin eye. Stop nice and quickly. Good looking shot. Missed the flag. Spin. Here it comes. Is it a slam dunk? Oof. Not bad. Okay then guys, so I don't like to split the numbers there, but average ball speed just under 100 mile an hour, which was good. Um, back spin at 9,500, which is decent. But the one heavy one on there at 8,100 though. If I was to take that one off, we can see nearly 10,000 spin with, with the wedge, which is good. It's what I'd be looking for. They're carrying it 125, and you can see not really being much far forward where it would land with that amount of spin. So again, you know, really, really good numbers with pitching wedge, you know, exactly where I would want. And again, really top end of where I'm looking spin, but certainly going to be getting the ball stopping nice and quickly, meaning that can be very aggressive with those full wedge shots. Um, now, though, it's getting into that area of the game where, you know, for me, spin's really important. Um, pitch shots. So we're going to play, I'm going to play six shots, half swing with my 50-60 degree wedge. A little bit out to the right. Good carry distance. We'll hope to pitch it about 62, 63 it was. Yeah, good looking shot. Spin. Bad on distance control. Just left it slightly out to the right and play out short of where I would want to land it. Felt good, nice and crisp. Oh yes. You like that one? Felt a little bit to the right again. Not too bad. Good distance control again, even if accuracy wasn't great. Slightly to the right. Again, stopping nice and quickly. Okay, so for a shot that I would expect to pitch 62 yards, you can see on the right hand side, carry average was 61, so that was good. Um, launch angle very consistent around that kind of 30 degrees. I mean, some really, really good spin numbers. A couple of there, granted, maybe left it a little bit more to the right on a couple, but over 7,000 spin on some of those shots and just under 7,000 as an average. So really creating lots and lots of spin on a short pitch shot. So guys, again, you know, really, really good spin numbers. And, and you know, what I'm really pleased with, I think normally I'm between five and five and a half thousand for that length shot. So my distance control and my carry was still absolutely bang on. I'm normally 62 yards and I was 63 for my carry, but that ball really kind of lots of spin on it. So maybe one hop forward and then just kind of stopping quite quickly or even coming back a touch. So all in all, in a nice controlled environment, clean ball, clean clubs, dry, you know, nothing influencing the, the spin at all. Golf ball performed really, really well. Then I headed out onto the golf course to actually play nine holes you know, with all different conditions out there to see how the golf ball performed.
Right guys, so about to head out onto the golf course, um, down at St Anne's Old Links, uh, just before Christmas. So the weather is absolutely amazing down here today. So it's going to be a really, really good chance to test the golf ball and the driver that might be going in the bag for this year. But I'm going to play nine holes, give you some feedback, how the ball's performed out on the golf course. Um, hopefully you've watched the rest of the video and then you guys can make that choice as to whether you're going to try this product or not. Right then guys, so I've just come off the golf course and we've been testing the Forte Apex 6 golf ball. Um, hit a couple of stinking drives, but that's not down to driver or golf ball, that's down to me. But all in all, as I saw with the numbers in the studio, very low spin with driver. So when I found the middle of the club face or somewhere near it, some fantastic results. What I really noticed today though was iron shots granted it's a little softer down at old links when it will be in the summer but iron shots were really really penetrating but still stopped really really quickly on the green and the little pit shots definitely spinning a little bit more than i would normally see and for me i felt i could then be more aggressive with that and throw the ball kind of nearer the flag in order to get it to stop but it's been really good to test some new product certainly some product that i think i would have never normally been willing to try so i want to thank the guys at forte golf for sending it all in all, really, really impressed. And if you're looking for a new premium ball, you know, there's lots of good stuff going to be out there, but you need to be trying lots of equipment, get fitted for your golf ball, loads of guys don't, and see what works best for you. Okay then guys, so I think we can see there that the numbers from the controlled environment were fantastic for this golf ball. Uh, out on the golf course, equally great performance. So the Forte Apex 6 ball, like I said, it's, it's the first six piece golf ball on the market. Um, there's going to be other balls coming to market or may already be out when you're watching this video that are going to be five piece but as far as I'm aware the first six piece ball out on the market now in the UK when I've tested this ball these aren't currently available so thank you to the guys at Forte Golf for sending it to me because it isn't something I would have probably tested had I not been given some to try but it's opened my eyes that it's not just the kind of major manufacturers that are making great golf balls there's lots of other guys making them and if you play premium ball and you've got the opportunity to try this ball, you certainly should going forward because it's going to give you some great options in your bag. So guys, as ever, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, sorry that I'm sat in the kitchen doing part of the review, but like I said, the sound didn't quite work. Um, follow me on any of the social media below. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with you guys in the future. Stay in contact.